This red figure Calix crater shows Heracles fighting the Libyan giant Antaeus. Now Antaeus was son of the earth goddess Gaia and he literally took his strength from being connected to the ground. His mother after all was mother earth. So what you're seeing in this image is Heracles trying to force his body off the ground so he hasn't got that advantage. Now, the painter Euphronius, who's put together this particular scene or narrative, is referred to as a pioneer painter. That's because he's one of the forerunners in the red figure technique. And we can see here that a couple of his aims were action, but anatomy. And there's an incredible exploration of the anatomy in this particular scene. If you look at the torso of Antaeus, but also the legs of Heracles, and especially look at the black and white image I've given you at the bottom, because it's even more visible there. These are almost like anatomical drawings with every muscle outlined, but also the artist considering the impact that a certain pose or action also has on the body. The other thing Euphronius is really interested in is comparing and contrasting these two individuals with a view to providing a metaphor for Greeks fighting barbarians or Greek superiority against others. And there are two ways that he does this. One, by comparing and contrasting the emotion. So whilst Heracles looks quite calm and effortless, Antaeus has a grimace on his face and his brow is furrowed. But their physical appearance is also contrasted. Heracles has the short, neat hair and beard as the civilised Greek male. Whereas Antaeus has the long, unruly hair and beard and the long moustache. And just a reminder, Antaeus is a Libyan giant. So that's why he's considered the, the foreigner, the non-Greek in this particular scene. And just notice how it's Heracles who's in front again on the crossing diagonals. We always tend to see the superior figure shown in the foreground. And whilst we're talking about depth, notice that we've got women there on a smaller scale. That's to show that they are in the background and Euphronius is trying to create depth and perspective. And something that we will eventually chart and see in a lot of the art is just how passive a role women can play. A lot of the time they are victims being abducted or watching horrific uh, acts happen in front of their eyes or they simply react in the background. <laughs>